show you how to uh, fix a Fluger. This one's a President, but they're all pretty similar. Uh, first, you got to take the screw out. I already took that one out. Then this one needs to come out for this back plate to come off. And this piece will just pop out. Then we got a screw here, here, and here. Back the handle out. Now what we can. You don't have to do that right away, but it helps. Then this plate will just pop off here. We got a bearing right here. A lot of flugers, this drive gear goes bad. This is a brand new drive gear. Um, but a lot of times, this can go bad. Uh, I broke this one on a, a salmon that was snagged, and my friend was using my pole and, and tried to reel at the same time as the fish was pulling drag, and it just stripped the gears. So don't do that. And there's a washer here. And then another another bearing in here. We'll go ahead and take the spool off. And there's a couple bearings and stuff here and there's a nut here this is just already so now we got it down to the base here I'm going to change the uh, pinion uh, gear because I bent it the the first time and I am not getting smooth uh, action on it so I'm going to try replacing this piece There's three screws on top of here And then this all pulls out uh, on the pinion gear. We have the bearing inside of here. Uh, this is a one way clutch. I'm going to be replacing that as well because it was a cheap part. And then you have another ball bearing. Now I got the new parts. I went to ereplacementparts.com and I cross-referenced it uh, with Fluger's um, schematics on their website. You can just Google, and this is a President 6735 series. But I just got the parts online, and now I got them in order of where they go back on. I got to stick this back in. Then we, the bearing. And then the one way clutch goes in. this with the bearing inside of it and then I'll just push down here oops make sure everything spins freely 
and then our plate goes back on. And we put our three screws back in. Then next, if all you had to do was replace this, this gear, you wouldn't have to take anything else apart other than just pull the side off and put this new gear in. That fixed the problem on my last uh, uh, Supreme that went bad from horsing a fish in. And so now this piece just goes in here and it works into there. Make sure it's seated good and everything's moving right. And everything feels smooth. So we'll start putting the rest of it together. It's got a bearing that goes on here. And then we can put the side plate back on. The screw with the flat head, flat end here goes in this bottom part where the cap goes over. It seats flush in there. Then you can put this screw and this screw in, but you have to wait. You have to put this cap on before you put this screw in. So now I can put this screw in. Now we got our housing goes over here. This little plastic piece goes next. Goes right down in there. So you put this cap on, get this nut on nice and tight. Once you make sure that's on tight. This piece goes on now to hold it and you just line it up so you can tighten it down right there and lock it with this nut, this screw. And now we got it all locked in there. Back to being smooth again. I was having a lot of problems with just a real rough, <clears throat> real rough spin. It's, it's not, not, uh, not rough anymore. Um, sometimes it can be the gears. Uh, this time the one-way clutch I think was bad, and I bent, I out rounded the pinion gear when I took it apart last time because I was in a hurry I just used some pliers and then I had a couple bearings go bad they're really cheap parts though so just replace a couple of bearings There's a couple other size bearings in there but you can just check everything on the the Fluger site or the e-replacements has uh, pictures and parts list of the same parts so you can figure out what you need and just replace it and this Fluger is back to kicking butt again.